What's up guys, in this episode we are driving from LA to Nashville, Tennessee, counting down my top 10 favorite moments from this year on Dudefish TV. There were a lot of really fun times, a lot of good times, but let's kick it off right now, number 10. Big baits catch big fish. We all know it, but not everybody knows how to go about it. If you're looking to get into swim bait fishing, I'm gonna give you some tips that's overall gonna save you some money and put you in the right path. All right, well, here we go, guys. This is it. We're heading out, leaving LA. It's gonna be a long trip. This is my third time making this drive. I think my second time being a solo trip. So I decided I just didn't want to drive to Tennessee uh, this year for Christmas like I usually do. I just like to have control, I think. And having a vehicle like gives me control, gives me the option of when I want to leave or when I want to, you know, whatever. So I'm driving this year. We're headed out now. It is 2.03 p.m. December 21st. So we got four days to make it to Tennessee. Can we make it to Tennessee in time for Christmas? I don't know, stay tuned. First thing we got to do though, we gotta get out of LA. There's snow. Snow. I have a low 16.5 uh, fun fisher. It was supposed to be a hybrid uh, bay slash, uh, you know, freshwater boat. So I kind of went all out. I spent way too much money, and my wife got mad at me, and I finished it. <laughs> oh, I I started doing the rigging on this boat and um, I wanted to make sure I got everything tight and dialed in the way I wanted to do it. I've been rigging boats for, for a few years through all the boats I've owned, but this was special. All new technology, all new equipment, but I'm going to do a walkthrough with you uh, regarding the install as far as some of the features and what I put into it and some of the custom and mods that I've done. You America! It's been a long time since I've driven through the desert. I remember the first time I drove through this pass right here. There's a train track that's going through here. The trains just look amazing. It looks like a toy train set. Just beautiful country out here. The West is truly, truly beautiful country. I'm, this is, I'm excited to drive through it again. All right, well, we did it. We made it out of the city, Route 40, hitting 40 East all the way to Tennessee. 719 miles to go. So we're gonna, what? no, oh my God, that's 719 miles to to Albuquerque. Oh my God, this is such a long drive. Buckle up. All right, what's up guys? We're out here, you see it, big crew today. Man, Jordan, we're at Santa Ana River Lakes. That's we're right. here gonna fish some monster trout that they stock here every week. We're about to get made. Oh what's my up? God. And I was just about to change the day, man. <laughs> <laughs> good fish, bro. Thanks. Good fish. Whew. Oh my God, guys, we had to stop, take a break, give the legs a rest. We're in Needles, California. I don't know if you can see this or not. Look at this. $5.69 for gas. What is it at the mobile? $5.59. Watch this. Bet, when we cross the California line, look at how much cheaper this gas is going to be. Just a few miles down the road. Watch this. Guys, look at this. Look at this. What did I tell you? All we did was cross the line. We just crossed the state line. We went from 5.59 down to, yeah, $3.19 uh, a gallon. All we did was cross the state line. That is some whack stuff. Screw you, California. I love you, California. Screw you, California. I love you, California. My day got started super late in LA, getting out the door. I wanted to leave at like 9 a.m. and I think I ended up leaving at like 2 p.m. So it's like another five hours to where I was gonna stop in Albuquerque. It's already past midnight right now, 12.15. I just, like I Googled some rest area around here and I found this crater, what is it called? Meteor Crater Rest Area. It's really nice. I just went in there and took a dump. It was really nice. I think I'm definitely going to sleep here tonight. I've got the bed all ready to go back there. So yeah, right now, Winslow, Arizona, we're looking at 27 degrees outside right now, and it felt like every one of those 27 degrees out there. I did see a shooting star though on the way here, and I made a wish that you guys would subscribe to this channel. So if you're watching this, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna go get some sleep. See you in the morning. 
We were going for Calico and Jordan hooked into something nasty. It basically ended up rocking him. His arms cramped, he's starting to get seasick. I thought he was having a heart attack or something, dude. It was oh. like baby small, dude. It was like ready to die. Not ready to die. This guy's not ready to die. Oh, good morning, guys. Well, we did it. We survived night one in the van. It was like 27 degrees last night. It was pretty cold, but we stayed under some blankets and managed to not freeze to death. So we got, you know, solid six hours, probably asleep. So I'm feeling pretty good. This wasn't bad. Nice sleep in the minivan. It's my first time sleeping in the minivan. It wasn't bad. Nice sunrise going on right now. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyways, we gotta go find some coffee. First thing I need to do is pee though. Look at all this frost. All right, day two, let's go. Look at this sunrise. So at one point last night, it was super cold. I was like trying to pull my blankets back on me or something. And I've got my new like Fitbit thing that I got so I can try to be more healthy and like watch all my steps and heart rate and all that crap. Dude, we're like 6,000, I think we were at like 6,000 feet elevation at that point. But like just moving around and just like pulling my blankets up, my heart rate was like 100 beats per minute. It was 90, it was 98. It was like almost 100 beats per minute just from like rearranging and moving around in bed. Like that's insane. Like, these altitudes are crazy. I'm not adjusted, I guess, to 6,000 feet altitudes. Either way, I thought it was pretty funny that uh, that, that happened. We made it, New Mexico, what up? I remember when I moved to California, New Mexico was the first state that I went into that I was like, oh my God, this is like, this is the West. And it was where I saw my first tumbleweed also fly across the interstate. And in that moment I knew I was made for the West. That tumbleweed changed my life. Anyways, we're still doing our thing. Still trying to get there. It's been going good so far, listening to some music throwbacks we're listening to dr dre the aftermath right now getting it done let's go <laughs> oh yeah look at that it's an oasis of dreams oh, there we go there's one there's one Whew, first frogfish nice Stoked on that. Let's go get some more. Yeah, dude. Nets. Our reward. Yeah. <laughs> Phew, we made it. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Rolling through. This is where, dude, there was no way. There was no way I would have made it this far last night. It was like 12:15 last night when I rolled up at that rest stop that I slept at. This is it, it's actually like another probably like 45 minutes to the to the rest stop I was originally gonna go to. I don't know what I was thinking. There was no way I was going to make that, but what up, ABQ? Any Breaking Bad fans, leave a comment below. I got to roll back through here on the way through. If you guys, if I have any viewers from New Mexico, let me know where is the barbecue spot. Actually, let me know. I know I have viewers in Texas. I'm rolling through Texas too. Let me know in the comments. Where should I stop in Texas and eat? What's up guys, we're in here in the kitchen, in here with my beautiful wife, Helen. I'm super excited to introduce you guys to her today, have her out on the channel. We're gonna be cooking some sheep's head that I caught out at Catalina Island the other day on a trip out. We're gonna throw some shrimp in it just because, but we're gonna be making some sheep's head and shrimp ceviche. Welcome through the ingredients, Helen, what do we got? So it's been a long time since I've been on a road trip, but I, I miss this a lot, I forgot that how like enjoyable a road trip can be, but it would not be enjoyable without the right snacks. So before we get on with our countdown, let's talk about my top three snacks for road trips. Number one, you guys know we have to roll with the beef jerky. And look, I'm telling you, I've tried a bunch of beef jerkies, a lot, and pretty much all of them that you can buy at the store. Old Trapper peppered beef jerky, that's the one, that's the buy for sure. But if you're gonna have something like that, super salty, 
You gotta have something sweet to follow it up. That's where the baby Ruth comes in. It's already chewed through a little bit. You know what's funny is they this is two and they said for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sharing my baby Ruth with anyone. Don't ask, it's mine. Anyways, number three, spicy nacho Doritos. You guys know how it is. I would also consider the purple bag, I forget what it's called, sweet and spicy, habanero or something like that. So those are my top three road trip snacks. Let me know in the comments down below, what are your road trip snacks? What, are your, what do you have to have on long car rides? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get back to the good times. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jordan. Welcome to Dude Fish TV. In this episode, I'm fishing into the night looking for a few keeper bass to bring home and feed the family. I've got a hungry seven-year-old who's looking for some fresh fish for dinner, so let's go see if we can pull something off for him. All right, well, sun's setting on us on, on this uh, West Texas evening. North Texas? We just went through Amarillo. You know what's funny to me about Amarillo is on all the bridges you go over or that you go under in Amarillo, that it's two cowboy boots for the two L's. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny those cowboy boots uh, are there like that. But either way, see that sunset behind us. We've made it to Texas. Hope you guys are enjoying the countdown. Don't go anywhere. Let's get into the next one. In this episode of Throne for Three, we're throwing surface iron jigs at Catalina Island for calico bass, barracuda, and bonito. Oh, there we go, right there. I stopped the reel. Stopped the reel. Try to be the blue. Oh, nice barracuda. What's up, guys? We are somewhere in Oklahoma at this place. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a teepee, but in the middle of Oklahoma somewhere, paying $2.79 for gas. It's just like, the further east you go, the more crazy California seems. I don't know, we're getting there though. Freaking stupid California gas prices. We're almost there, we're almost to Tennessee. One thing that makes me so happy is crossing this bridge, this bridge into Memphis. Hitting Memphis right now, my hometowns where I was born and raised. You got the Bass Pro Shop over here too, the only Bass Pro Shop that's a pyramid, I'm pretty sure. Look, I laid tile in that, uh, in that building over there. Let's go, Memphis, Tennessee in the house. Oh man, it feels good to be home. You know, I always enjoy driving through Memphis whenever I come. Whenever I come out here for Christmas, we always come home for Christmas every uh, every Christmas. But there's one stop I always make that it's very, very personal. It's a very personal spot for me. Sometimes I don't even tell people I go there. I just I just stop by by myself. And we're gonna stop there today uh, before we head to uh, Nashville. All right, here we go. Here it is. Forest Hill, it's all the way in the back. It may have been two years since I've been here. I can't remember if I came here last year, actually. I think I might be the only one who comes to visit. All right, let's go check it out. It's been a minute since I've been in here. I haven't been in here in a while. There it is. That's my dad, like the one responsible for giving me life, and that's pretty much it. I never knew him, didn't even know he died until I was in sixth grade. I think he died when I was in sixth grade. I think I might be the only one who visits this dude. Never knew him at all. I never knew him, never met him. It's a weird part of the past that, I don't know. Let's get out of here though. Life moves too fast to dwell in the past. All we can worry about is today, is right now. Who we have today, who we have with us now. Focus on that. 
All right, let's uh, let's carry on. We got we got places to be. We got places to go. What's up guys, in this episode we're out with Cody and Trace on the hunt for some big halibut. The multi-species bite was on as well, and we even made a 600 foot deep pit stop for some rockfish. Things were looking good until the motor stalled right as a super sketchy fog pushed in on us out of nowhere. Damn, look at that fog rolling in. Yeah, dude, fast. We are here. Made it to Nashville. Oh my God, what a long trip. Thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate you guys for counting down the uh, top moments with me. Spending spend 2,000 miles on the road, appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.